In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create grouped bar charts in Tableau. But first, let me give you a little bit of background. If you look at this chart here, this is the chart template that Tableau sent to speakers for Data 15. It's clearly a PowerPoint chart, uh, which we, I thought was sort of ironic uh, that they were sending, say, a PowerPoint chart and not a Tableau chart. But that being what it is, you can see that the bars are grouped together really nicely and there's a gap in the middle. Well, these are not actually that straightforward to build in Tableau. Another tricky thing is how do you get the labels to be in the middle? So you can see category four lines up with this bar right in the middle. So I'm gonna show you a few tricks on, uh, on how to build that. So let's start by just putting sales in the columns. We'll go ahead and put region in the rows, product category in the rows, and product, ca product category on color. And then you see nice, we've got these, uh, you know, basically a, a pretty standard bar chart in Tableau. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size to pack them together. All right, so if I flip back over here to my PowerPoint template, you can see I've got these packed together, but I don't have the gap in between. So uh, the trick here is you go ahead and turn on subtotals. So I go to the analysis menu, go to totals, and then pick add all subtotals. And you can see here, we now have uh, the, this, this uh, red bar for, for the total. And if I go ahead and click on that bar, you'll see I get this nice little option here to, uh, it says automatic right now. If I click on that, I can do a few things. I can either change it to a sum or to an average, or and you can see when I change it to an average, my bars go to the right size. But another neat little option here is the hide option. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide those. And uh, over here in my color legend, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's just pick, uh, let's see, I think I have a white palette here somewhere. So I'm gonna pick total and set it to white because I really don't want this to show up in my legend. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to do a bit of formatting here. So first thing is I'm gonna right click and choose format on the total. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the word total. And now I've got a nice little blank. You can see I'm starting to get the makings of this chart here. So I've got my categories and my groupings. So now if I go ahead and I hide the headers for my product category, now I'm getting really close. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the title from my, my axis and uh, go ahead and start to do a bit of formatting. All right, so now we've got, oops, sorry, that's the answer. Uh, I need to get the, the category label in the middle. All right, so the trick here is to build a calculated field. So I'm just gonna call this our, maybe we'll call it our regions. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say if uh, index, oops, equals two, meaning if I'm at the second bar, then give me the region, the attribute of region. Otherwise, give me a null. Okay, and I wanna go ahead and default this to product category. Hit okay, hit okay again. And now if I put my region label here, you can see I get, it lines up perfectly with my second bar. But uh, it looks like my compute using needs to be product category. There we go. All right, so now from here, it's a matter of unchecking the show header. And I need, I've got all of these extra lines now. So let's go ahead and right click on the chart and do format. And I'm gonna go to my borders and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my row dividers. I'm gonna turn off my column dividers and I'm gonna to go to my little paintbrush here, which is the lines option. Go to columns and maybe add my grid lines. And you can see now, uh, maybe I wanna go ahead and let me format this. And I'm gonna right align it. And then go ahead and hide the field labels for the rows. And now you can see I've got the exact same chart that we had in the PowerPoint example. So uh, I hope this helps, and this is a great example of how to uh, sort of leverage calculations and a couple other things to, to really build the chart that you're looking for. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.